Hello, my name is Damian Graham. I'm with the City of Raleigh and standing way over there is our Mayor, Mary Ann Baldwin. Mayor, how are you? Hanging in there like everybody else, you know, getting a little antsy, um, you know, but managing to um, get out, walk my dogs and enjoy some fresh air. Well, Mayor, today was significant because you called for a special meeting of council. Originally, the meeting was canceled or postponed uh, through the end of the month, but some things were come up and, and you wanted to make sure that uh, they were heard. So why, why did you call the meeting? Well, we have been having conversations for the past several weeks with our small business community. Um, there's a lot of concerns about um, their future and their ability to survive. Um, a lot of them have not gotten their small business um, loans or PPP checks. and we came up with the um, idea um, of pulling together a grant program. It will serve as a bridge for our small um, business community, get them hopefully through the next month or two um, until some of the federal um, stimulus dollars start coming in. So um, we didn't feel we could wait and that was the impetus for the meeting today. So uh, certainly sm small businesses was the, perhaps the highlight, but what, what else did you talk about and what actions did you take regarding small business? Well, we created a small business fund with the Carolina, um, we have two partners that we authorized. One is the Carolina um, Small Business um, Development um, Fund and the other is Wake Tech. And um, the Small Business um, Center is going to administer the program for small businesses, 49 people, and under. Um, they have to have um, had 25% um, reduction in revenue um, that they can tie to COVID-19 and also not have more than 2.5 million um, in revenues the previous year. So that's the fund we've stood up um, for those, those small businesses. And then we're also setting up another fund through Wake Tech that will, um, money will go toward micro businesses. And um, those are 14 and under. They will be eligible for $3,000 grants. And um, the grants that we'll be um, administering from the Small Business Center will run up to $10,000. That's great news. And you also heard uh, a little bit about our budget picture, what we're looking at moving forward. <laughs> yeah, that was um, sobering um, to say the least. Um, I served on the city council in um, 2000, you know, from 2007 to, to um, 2017. So I did serve during a recession where we were hit by the Great Recession, had to take numerous steps to cut our budget. We're in the same position um, now. Um, we are, well, we're looking at a potential shortfall of anywhere from 22 to um, 34 million dollars and um, we're hoping you know upon hope that it's closer to the 20 level as opposed to the 32 but we are going to be taking um, steps um, lim you know no travel um, n we won't be filling vacancies um, just a number of things that we're going to do to make sure that we are not spending money unnecessarily so non-essential contracts We'll be looking to cut those. I mean, which then has an impact in, on our business community. So, you know, we're not doing any of this lightly. It's it's going to be a rough year. Tough decisions and uh, forthcoming, and trying to take a thoughtful approach to mm -hmm. going through those those tough challenges. Uh, we do hope to have a, a proposed budget for council to consider in mid-May. Yes, and May nineteenth. May nineteenth. So mm -hmm. that will be coming soon. Yes, and. You know, we, I tried to um, kind of set the tone today with um, our meeting and let people know that this is going to be tough. There are going to be tough decisions. I know a lot of people had big dreams and aspirations um, for what we could accomplish. Um, but the fact of the matter is we're not going to be able to do any special programs. We're not going to be able to spend money on things that we would have wanted to spend money on. We're going to be really restrained. So trying to set that expectation for our council members, but also for our community. Um, you know, the, things like bike lanes and um, 
you know, transit and what whatnot. We we keep thinking, oh, we, we want to grow that, and you know, we're going to kind of be at a standstill for a year while we figure this all out and kind of get back on track. Um, but as I also said in the meeting, we have one huge opportunity this year, and that is passing a housing affordability bond. That is going to be needed now more than ever. We have a great opportunity to also um, expand housing choices with some of the tax changes that we propose that would allow like accessory dwelling units, um, tiny homes, um, town ho houses in more of our city, just providing more choices for people, more affordability. Um, that's our goal. So that's what we need to focus on. How can we be successful over the next year, making sure that we move forward with, with housing affordability as our number one priority? Mayor, uh, don't want to take up too much of your time, so do you have any last words you want to share with us? Wow. Well, when I came to the meeting today, um, we had many protesters um, out in the streets of Raleigh. Um, some people said there were over a thousand participants. Um, you know, we have a very strict stay-at-home order in Wake County. That's one of the reasons why we are not seeing this tremendous surge in numbers. Um, but we also aren't seeing the numbers go down. I just want to urge everybody to really, to be patient. We have to stay at home, at least for the immediate time being. And what we don't want to do is rush out there and say, hey, okay, we're open for business now, and then have another surge in May. We've just got to be patient. We've got to listen to the experts. We've got to be careful. Um, and we've got to be compassionate toward each other. I mean, my heart goes out to people who have lost their jobs. Um, you know, the Great Recession, my daughter lost her job, I lost my job, and my husband lost his job. It was scary. It, that was not fun. And so I understand what people are going through, and I understand their fear and suffering, but I also want them to, to stay safe. And that has to be the priority right now, um, but we will get there. So I just want people to please be patient, please obey the rules, and please be kind to one another. Um, I would ask people who can help those in need to please do so. Um, you know, we, the city council stood up a fund um, with money going to Oak City Cares, which cares for our homeless community, um, the Interfaith Food Shuttle, which feeds those in need, and our North Carolina Restaurant Relief Fund. Um, Nicole Stewart from uh, council really led on that initiative. All the council participated. And we raised $116,000 for these three organizations. That's money that's desperately needed um, to fight some of the, the um, issues that we're facing right now. So I would just encourage people, I mean, hey, make a donation if you can to this small business fund. There's an opportunity for matching grants. Um, I'd like to call on our corporate community and business community to help us match a million dollar grant as well um, for that small business fund and help us grow that small business community. But, you know, it sounds trite by now to say we're all in this together, but we're all in this together and we all have to support each other. Absolutely. Mayor, thank you as always. We really appreciate your time and you sharing uh, what's going on with the council in this city. Uh, if you happen to miss the council meeting by any chance, you can see a recap on our website at rallync.gov. If you have questions about the stay-at-home order that is extended through the rest of this month, that can go to wakegov.com uh, for more information about that. Uh, Mayor, thank you as always. Thank you for having me.